Workers from a major Northeast Ohio employer are finishing up a third day on strike. Union members at Nordson Industrial Coding Systems in Amherst say they're picketing for better health care and wages. News 5's Catherine Ross explains the sticking points between the company and dozens of employees. The union workers here at Nordson's Amherst facility say they worked through pandemic shutdowns and helped contribute 12% of the company's revenue last year. But despite their contributions, they say they've been unable to come to an agreement on their contract negotiations. A strike went to effect on Monday and they've been on the picket lines ever since. Wednesday, parking lots are empty and doors shuttered at several buildings on the Nordson Industrial Coding Systems campus. What do we want? Fair contract! Instead, dozens of workers are trying to stay warm on the picket line. We're ready to sit down and talk, and my members uh, will stay one day longer than they will. The strike began at midnight on Monday after the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers overwhelmingly voted to reject the company's last and best offer. And for the last 20 years, things have changed. And the top issues are respect and dignity on the job. What do we want it? The local 1802 president is an electrician at the company himself. He says the company's current mandatory overtime policy and 32 required Saturdays make it tough to juggle work and home life. We're just looking for, uh, again, uh, a work-life balance with overtime. Uh, and being able to spend some time with our families. The company says it's disappointed in the strike. In a statement to News 5, the Nordson ICS vice president and division leader says he believes their offer is fair and equitable and will, quote, provide for industry-leading wages and benefits while allowing for an economically sustainable profile for the company. More than 130 of the division's 630 global employees belong to Local 1802. Thank you. Thank you and they're demanding better hours and compensation for their work. We're not expecting golden parachutes. We're not expecting uh, stock options. What we want is, is fair wages and, and good benefits. That's all we're asking for. Norton ICS says it plans to continue operating through the strike using outside resources. Both parties tell me they plan to get back to the negotiating table as soon as possible. In Amherst, Catherine Ross, News 5.